What's good, what's good, what's good, man? I see my man Nick, he popping out again, man. He popping out. He did when it got Young Pharaoh. What was it, Rush 5-9? I can say, man, he did got... He did done a couple of interviews that I've seen that I, I really, really um enjoyed. You know what I'm saying? Even though he pissed me off with some of the things he's been doing lately. He done some he done some real honorable, respectable interviews that I like so far, man. I can't wait to see the young Pharaoh joint. You know what I'm saying? I know young Pharaoh with Tom were coming on the show. I like, why Nick ain't put young Pharaoh on the show? Like, young Pharaoh do that for real. Like, if you watch his channel, you know he do that for real. You know what I mean? He really do that. You know, you know me, I'm more passionate. You know what I mean? Come from the heart type of guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them guys that, you know what I mean? I speak straight from the heart, man. Responsible, honorable dude. You know what I mean? But when you're talking young Pharaoh, that man got like 50 million books in his brain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pharaoh do that for real, man. And I'm just learning a lot about a couple of cats. You know what I'm saying? My sign, respect. You know what I mean? Watch 5'9". You know what I'm saying? Respect. You dig what I'm saying? I'm waiting for Vlad to come out and, and just do his apologize to the uh, apologize to the Minister Farrakhan. You know what I'm saying? That's all he gotta do. You know what I mean? To clear his name up. You know what I mean? Then we ain't gonna look at you with no coach of vote. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah, Nick Cannon trying to he's switching it up on him. You know what I'm saying? He's switching it up on him, man. I, I seen the little clip or whatever. I can't wait to see that joint, man. Cause one thing about young Pharaoh, man, he's gonna come with it. And I think, see, it, this is why I tell you. Like when I watch Nick Cannon, it seemed like he studied a lot of good dudes that do interviews because I not really the radio show not that, that one, but the one the Cannon class, yo, that joint is like fire, but like that I, I can't even front G. That that Cannon class, man, when I watch it, I, I, I start not to watch it because he be pissing me, he pissed me off, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta get the Nick, man. <laughs> I gotta get I gotta drop I gotta drop my white flag, man. Dang, boy, he came with the punches on that, man. And the interviews are good, man. They good. They not, it ain't no, it, it's good. The My Son joint. I didn't even want to watch the whole thing because he was up there with Nick Cannon. But even the clips that I did watch, the, it, it, it was good. It was all that we good. I can't front. That joint was good, man. It was a good interview. It's like, you know how some people do garbage interviews. They don't know how to talk to people. They don't know information. You know what I mean? That's the thing I always loved about Nick is that he knew He's not a dude that's out here just winging the stuff. He was always one of them educated type of dudes. And I think when you have a person with that type of knowledge and information, he makes the interviews more entertaining and more disrespectful and honorable. But like I said with Nick, I didn't know, like, if you on our side, you with us, you're not with us. You know what I mean? I seen Carcino jump out the, um, the car seat to say, you know what I mean? He with everybody. You know what I mean? He just out here, he playing his cards the right way. You dig what I'm saying? He can't show people his hands. I'm a, you know what, I'm going to take Carcino word for it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take his word for it, and I, I just feel like, I don't think Young Pharaoh would just jump on somebody's platform, you know what I'm saying, if he ain't coming with the honorable and the respectable, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I feel like it was a dope, I can't wait till that interview come out. I, I cannot wait till that Young Pharaoh joint come out on the Royce 594 video. I may, it may be out by now, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I just seen the clip, you know what I'm saying? I seen, I, I said, what? I said, they got Young, I got, I said, they got Young Pharaoh on his jank. I said, what? Oh, man. That was lit, man. Nick doing his thing, man. I got to give him his respect for that. I was waiting for that. I, I kind of felt like, I was like, how you have everybody up there but Pharaoh? Pharaoh was saying that in his video. And I was like, yeah, you got to have Pharaoh up there. That's one of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He wanted it. He wanted it. Now, one thing about Pharaoh, he ain't going to come with no BS. You know what I'm saying? He going to come with the full clip. And one thing about Pharaoh, he come with it. He did what I'm saying. He come. With, I know. Ne I never seen Pharaoh when he talking information. I, I watched one video, like an old video of Pharaoh. I was like, dang, like the way he break down stuff, way he ordered together. This dude do this for real, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, you got you got certain type of YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? Like me is more passion. You know what I mean? I put the effort in and stuff like that. But these guys is very, very, very educated, smart, and intelligent individuals that they clip is at a different level you know what i'm saying the energy is a different level. see when you have knowledge at that at that clip you know what i'm saying spiritually or energy wise you are at a different level than everybody else that you're like why is this channel so lit and why is it stuff like this is because the energy that you get from knowledge you know what i'm saying same with nick cannon the, the information that nick cannon holes in his soul and his mind, you know what I mean, it's, 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 it's so much, you know what I mean, that's why I always say, well, a person like me, gotta study, study more, gotta learn more, you dig what I'm saying, but these individuals are great people, and, and I feel like great leaders, like, every great leader make a mistake, you dig what I'm saying, but like I say, man, it's how you hold yourself accountable after the mistake, and I gotta give Nick credit for it, man.
He handled himself well out here, man. <laughs> he pissed me off, though. I ain't gonna front. He pissed me off with man in a couple of videos. He pissed me off. I seen that young Pharaoh thing. My son. I said, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. You know what I mean? But I'm like, okay, okay, okay. He doing something. Because then I, I know good and well my son and I wouldn't be coming on this platform. He doing something that I'm not seeing. You know, them guys are in those crowds. So it's got to be something behind the scene that Nick is doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, man, respectfully, man, I just feel like, uh, you know what I mean? God got a plan for everything. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Nick did the right thing with Young Pharaoh. You know what I mean? Watch 5'9". You know what I'm saying? Now I guess him and Eminem trying to end everything. You dig what I'm saying? I, I really respect the M at this point. You know what I mean? I, I'm giving, I'm gonna give my honor. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Nick some more respect. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it to him on this. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I'm gonna give it to him. <clears throat> but like I said before, man, um, I don't know, man. I respect it. I, I just respect what he's doing at this point. I mean, he gave that man the opportunity, and you know, one thing about Pharaoh, Pharaoh like MJ. You know what I'm saying? He go, he be prepared for the moment for the longest. So when the moment come, he actually he ready for it. And I seen that one clip. I said, yeah, it's about to go down. I can't wait to see that young Pharaoh joint and the Royce 5-9 joint. You know what I mean? I don't know who else he dropping. I'm about to phone, see who else Nick going to drop. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, respectfully, man. I can't wait, man. I can't wait to see it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, Like I said, I was always a big fan, you know what I mean, uh, of, of their great and embodiment of work for the culture. Always, man. Nick, you know what I'm saying? My son, you dig what I'm saying? Like I say, man, now you got to get your brother Vlad to turn around and just apologize and be honorable and respectful. I mean, that's all Vlad got to do. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I don't know how Vlad going to keep holding up with this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't be getting it, bro, bro. For real, G. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, Nick, you, I'm going to give you that pass, Nick. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you that pass. I'm going to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, man. You know I mean, it's forgiveness. We, we we all forgive Nick at this point, man. We're going to give him some forgiveness, man. He just can't keep backtracking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nick doing his thing out here, man. I got to get to him on that, man. I was not expecting that interview, boy. I seen that clip. I said, okay. Yeah, you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not a cannon class type of t uh, candidate. I'm, you know what I mean? Because I come straight from the rip. You know what I mean? But that, that is a good platform for a young Pharaoh because he do that for real. You know what I'm saying? I, it would be dishonorable to put me on. <laughs> Put me on the candy class, you did for real. But I love and enjoy the interviews that they doing over there, man. Respectfully, like for real, man. That's those interviews like that be so powerful, man. It's crazy, man. Those some powerful interviews, man. Straight like that, man. When you have those leaders come in there and they speak like that, you know what I'm saying. But like I say, I feel like Nick, uh, Nick know what he doing. You know what I'm saying? He know what he, he know what he messed up at. He corrected it. Like I said, we all made mistakes. You know what I mean? We get pissed off. You know what I'm saying? We're going to give the brother another chance. You know what I mean? Brother Nick, we're going to give you another chance out here in these streets, buddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For the culture, baby. For the culture, man. Stand tall, though, Nick. Don't, 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 don't ever. What, what, what my man Shotty said, don't bend, don't fold. You know what I'm saying? And don't cooperate, man. You standing for the culture, G. All the way, Nick. You know what I'm saying? Don't bend, don't fold. You standing for the culture, baby. You know what I'm saying? Got to understand, you got the world behind you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. Don't, don't, don't bend, don't fold. You know what I'm saying? None of that. You know what I mean? When you speaking facts. You know what I mean? Like I said, it ain't about no apology. It ain't about none of that. You know what I mean? It's about a man standing for his honor and, and respectfully so. And that's what that's what we wanted Nick to do. Stand for his honor, respectfully so. You know what I mean? Because we all had respect for Nick to the highest clip. And we was going to ride for Nick. And they was going to give his show back until Nick just went into something else. You dig know what I'm saying? That he would have had his show back in 24 hours, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It would have been pressure. But like I say, he kind of did that flip-flop thing. And when he did that, it kind of like made everybody lose their taste in him. Because now he got our coach and everybody else's coach and confused at that point. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, Nick know what's up. You know what I mean? If you want wilding out, you know what I'm saying? You got to stick, staying tall with the core. You know what I'm saying? Will, it, will he come back with it? I really don't care to see it again. I just, I know he won his money, though. You know what I'm saying? That's the only part of the money. You know what I'm saying? But I don't care to see Wildin' Out again. I'd rather than make something new, like a skit joint, like the, how the Living Color was back in the days. Like, the, I feel like it give the, I, let's say, for instance, I'm, I'm going to give you a prime example of what I'm trying to say. If Nick Cannon would have did like a skit show, right? <clears throat> you got to think about it. 
are, are all the most of the guys that's on the comedian standpoint they trying to make it the hollywood of being movies they can get their practice on if they had like a show like an 11 color or something where they can just and then the way he got all these instagram comedians coming in he actually can form them into real live like comedians you know what i'm saying get their craft up but i feel like with wilding out it was more like being in high school and y'all was just cracking jokes at the table or, you know what I mean? And, you know what I'm saying? You at the lunchroom and everybody just cracking jokes. It, that's how that, the Wild and Out was more formed. Where I feel like their value would have been more if they would have been in a, in, a, in, a, in a format of like a living color where they actually had to read lines and do stuff like that where they had to, they was put in place to do stuff like that. I feel like their value would have been more. In my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Cause you, you got to think about it. Look, when you look at a living color, you got Jamie Foxx, you got Jim Carrey, all these guys that come from those branches like that, but they had to, they had to shop in their craft. I don't feel like you shop in their craft when you have like a wild and out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like no disrespect to how it was. It was good for the moment, but I feel like that if they're going to go back and do anything, they should do a show where it's more like they, it's like a, a scripted thing where they actually have to act. They actually have to perform. You know what I'm saying? And then see where their range is at. So the comedians that come in will also have different places to go to. You know what I mean? Because when you look at some of the comedians, they end up, their career ended up stopping that while and out. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't do other things. They just was rapping and, you know what I'm saying? It, it just killed their career off if they would have been, my whole opinion is, if they would have been more like on the, on the side of doing their living color type of style, they would have had careers in Hollywood and stuff like that or movie roles in Atlanta, somewhere, they would, their skills would have been sharpened if, if that makes sense to anybody. I feel like Wild and Out don't sharpen anything, but just somebody doing like a stand-up comedy or something like that. It make you quick on your feet. But if you was doing like scripts and show TV shows and stuff like that, you wouldn't be prepared for it because you're doing Wild and Out all the time. You gotta, that's why I say he, he should change it into like a skits where people actually got to read lines and perform and show they act in the building so they can make it to the next level when they leave the actual show or whatever. I mean, cause you got to think about it. There's a lot of great people that came from the living color, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of great people that came from that. Oscar winning people. You know what I'm saying? Like big roles, big situations, man. But man, much love, much love, much love. I can't wait to see that young Pharaoh joint. You know what I'm saying? Young Pharaoh was five nine. Respect, respect to the kings, man. All my kings out there, respect to the gods out there. All my Muslim brothers out there, respect, man. To my Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters out there, respect. You know what I mean? All my Christian brothers and sisters, respect. You know what I mean? Donate to the cash out, man. Cash tab being there, Charlie, man. Love y'all, man. Love y'all, G.